Hello and welcome, John Croner with Bullseye Trader, and I'd like to welcome you to the AI Holly and Market Update for July 2nd, 2018. And uh, welcome to July, and uh, of course the markets will close tomorrow at 1 p.m. Eastern Time, and then they will be closed all day on Wednesday. So, uh, you know, many uh, you know, uh, of these charts are going to show you that we had, uh, you know, uh, maybe a little lower volume or at least average volume. Uh, first, let's take a look at IWM. And you can see here a little gap down on the open and then a lot of volatility. But once we got uh, about 1.30 in the afternoon, pretty much a straight climb up, closing, uh, you know, very near the high. Uh, and we have this uh, bullish engulfing candle set up. So uh, very, very nice uh, recovery candle there. Uh, we'll have to see if we get some follow through. Uh, of course, the top of the candle is pretty much where the high of Friday's candle was so uh, but very encouraging from that perspective uh, the IBB uh, you know uh, same thing a gap down uh, a little bit of volatility a couple times but yet pretty much a you know climb higher all day long closing just about at highs just a very small wick here at the top and uh, so uh, some encouragement there as well now the Q's, uh, you know, technology stocks did good. We have the same scenario, the bullish engulfing candle gap down, you know, a little bit of volatility uh, throughout the day, closing uh, just about at the high, the bullish engulfing candle here. And we uh, just right at about the same level uh, we were Friday at the close. So uh, we'll have to see if we get some follow up, uh, of course, or, you know, follow through. Uh, we are, uh, you know, above that 50-day uh, moving average, so that is uh, encouraging as well. We're going to have to, you know, uh, test this 20 and hopefully get to the other side of it. The spiders, uh, you know, uh, we, we uh, you know, we here we have that scenario where Friday we actually were up on a red candle, and today, uh, you know, we are. Uh, you know, uh, you know, we we do have the green candle, but it you know gapped down, and we had this uh, volatility through the day, but closed near highs. So, uh, you know, just up a little bit from Friday, but once again encouraging uh, if we get that follow through. Uh, and uh, you can see down here a little lower volume on the uh, spiders. Uh, the diamonds, uh, you know, uh, you know, th this is the, the the good example here where Friday was the red candle on the, uh, you know, on, on a move higher, and today is a green candle. And actually, if you uh, check it out very carefully, we closed exactly where we closed on Friday. So. Uh, you know, uh, encouraging that we recovered back up to that level, but we're going to definitely need some follow through uh, tomorrow. And uh, once again, we just have a uh, short day because markets, markets will close at one o'clock. The TLT pulled back again, and we closed below what the gap up was. So, uh, you know, uh, it looks like uh, we're going to definitely get a gap fill. We're going to have to see if it, uh, you, know, you know, tests this uh, previous high back here and bounces off of it, or if it, uh, you know, keeps flying through it. And GLD, another big red candle there so we gapped down and then continued down and so uh you know gld uh did lose uh, some there so so that is our quick market update now let's go ahead and take a look at holly and see how she did today and once again we do have the three different hollies uh and uh the holly grail lost 41 cents today on seven trades and on the risk one, she lost 80 cents. And you can see she had three shorts and two longs in, in that particular Holly. Now the Holly 2.0, she lost a dollar eight. And uh, on the risk one, she made 203. And she had a few more strategies to work with here. 
Holly Neo, 15 trades, made 32 cents, but on the risk one, she made $2. And you can see here where it all kicked in, uh, probably right around that 130 mark. Uh, and uh, the, the longs were uh, where, where the money was for her today. If we total it up, she had 46 total trades. Uh, she lost 117 in the risk off mode, but made 323 in the risk on mode. So it's like we talked about there uh, with, uh, you know, the man and machine. You know, uh, today was certainly one of those days where you, you definitely needed, uh, you know, uh, to, to use your trading abilities and you know, do some trade arounds and you should have been uh, okay. Now let's take a look uh, what, what some of the trades were in uh, the Holly Grail. <coughs> Her best risk uh, off trade was this. Uh, you know, you know, hostess brands, and you can see uh, where she got in, and uh, you know, uh, nice trade there. She made 14 cents, but had you held, you would have made 33 cents on the risk on, and uh, that was the best trade, uh, you know, in risk on and risk off. The Holly 2.0. Give it a second to populate, and uh, we have the same scenario here where AZPN was the best trade in uh, both the risk on and the risk off. And you can see uh, where she got into the trade here, and that was after it had a nice claim up and got in on the pullback. Uh, and uh, you know, the strategy was close to a cross, and you can see it here. She called it right before it crossed and made 44 cents because she got out here on the pullback and then it went up a little bit more so had you held you would have had an 88 cent uh, profit and we'll take a quick look at the neo and see what went into the neo once again here she had all long strategies with one short the uh, best uh, risk off was mdb and she got in uh, here. This was later in the day. This was on the float on strategy. She got out on a timed exit and made 41 cents. Uh, if you would have held, you would have uh, only ended up with 25. So her timing was great on that. And ADMP was the best risk on trade for her. And you can see uh, got on here and she did get out here when it just wasn't moving uh, on uh, it was a timed exit for her but had you held it you could have made 75 cents if you held it all the way to the end of the day so that is our holly update for today and we are running a big big fourth of july sale you can save 25 percent this sale does not start until midnight tonight july 3rd okay so when the uh, clock strikes 12 eastern time you can save 25 percent and the way you do it is you go to this link right here and i will put that in the comments of the uh of the youtube video so if you just copy and paste that in you'll put in your email and they will send you the code and then you can use that code and you can save 25 percent on your first month or your first year it is a fantastic price and i think you'll be very very happy if you give us a try and i want to thank you for uh you know watching us today and uh, let you know you can also follow our blog at bullseyetrader.com like me on facebook follow me on twitter we're stock twits if you got anything out of this video go ahead hit that thumbs up and uh you know feel free to share it with your friends and like-minded people and uh if it's the first time you're seeing these videos go ahead hit that subscribe button at the lower right there that way you'll never miss a video so i want to thank you for your time today and god bless